A holistic food safety management system is a much more mature food safety management system involving not only the safety requirements in terms of food safety, but also considering all factors that input, um, input into that. For example, there could be things like the vulnerabilities, traceability, um, validation and verification. And rather than thinking of it just as food safety, it's also thinking about it in terms of the legal requirements and also think considerations for quality parameters as well, which are an important factor when we're producing food that we want people to eat and enjoy and come back and eat more. Um, the benefits of taking a holistic approach to food safety, I mean, one of the ways that I think about it is that food safety management is a team sport. It involves everybody within the organisation. And if you look at it from a very sort of rigid silo type of approach where we have things like the raw material assessment, we have things like the sort of the food safety um, or the HACCP plan, we have prerequisites, then there's operational prerequisites. All of these are dealt with as separate entities. The beauty of a, a holistic approach is that by stepping back you see the, the overview and therefore you see where things are perhaps overlapping because the goal is to ensure that we produce a, safe, a, a product that is safe and complies with legal requirements and is of good quality. That's most of the requirements of commercial standards. By taking this holistic view, we can achieve that in a much more efficient way. And therefore, everybody can get involved in it because people can understand their role and their impact in ensuring that what they do has a direct impact and has a consequence if things go wrong and people will then buy, it may be easier to pe for people to buy into. Within the holistic approach, for example, you know, culture becomes a very important factor because what it actually does is rather than when things go wrong, it is seen as being the responsibility of the food safety team or even the HACCP team. Everybody has got to, is, is involved with it because the consequences could be quite dramatic. And by improving the culture and people improving their their buy-in to the whole ethos of why things are being done rather than things being dictated to them, you know, it becomes perhaps a lot less of a, an onerous task because when we look at health and safety, everybody understands health and safety and they understand, particularly when it comes to health and safety culture, that the impact is very real and, and is very quantifiable because people can get hurt and people can get injured. When it comes to food safety culture, it's a little bit more difficult to quantify in that respect. But by improving the culture within food manufacturing, we can ensure that the, when the consumer eats the product, they're going to be a lot safer, a lot happier, and therefore in terms of maybe a lot more loyal. I think we are going to see some changes and demands from clients in post-Brexit, particularly in terms of where they, people are actually going to look to sell their, their products um, from an international perspective. We have seen already that there's been an increased um, um, information about sort of the US requirements in terms of their FISMA requirements and their PCQI with their preventive control qualified individual being a named person uh, um, at each facility. But even further afield, you, when you look at the requirements for Canada for their safe food for Canadian requirements, there's the Australia and New Zealand have their um, own requirements. All of these are really focused up upon the fact that the food that is being consumed within these countries are safe to eat and they will all have different regulatory requirements. Russia have their own regulations and China as well um, have their regulations all based upon food safety to ensure that you know, what, what is being imported into the country is safe and complies with their legal requirements. So there's going to be a, a challenge from an international perspective to meet all the various um, country requ specific requirements.